Hey everyone, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be introducing a sensor that has three uh, parts embedded in the same part that's the accelerometer, magnetometer and the gyrometer and it's known as LSM9DS0. Now to gain more knowledge about that, uh, let's roll up on the website that is controlleverything.com and search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got. As you can see it's a 3D accelerometer, 3D gyroscope, 3D magnetometer and as you can see a long list of features for it and also you can purchase the sensor from here. Further I will be interfacing the sensor that is LSM9DSU with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code and to get the Python code what we do is to click on the resource tab and here comes the Python code sample as you can see. Now you can download the code sample as a zip file from here. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's get back uh, to the hardware section and let's see what connections we require to set up. And in the hardware section part the requirement is a Raspberry Pi which you are able to see on my screen and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. The real issue, the uh, reason we are using this I2C shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So we use it and gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi and we are done. The next thing we require is our sensor that is lsm 90 s 0 and here comes a connecting cable. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now we require a micro USB cable just for the power connection and gently insert it over the power jack. The last part is to provide an internet connection for the Raspberry Pi and there are two ways. The first way is to provide an ethernet or LAN cable as you can see and gently insert it over the ethernet jack. The next part is to provide the internet connection via a wireless nano USB adapter which you are able to see on my screen. It comes in handy and it might save your day also. Now as we are done with all the connections required, now what we require is to look over the code. So let's interface. Well for the interfacing part uh, for the code, python code, we require to find out and let's see in the github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and there you go. As you can see this is our sensor and this is the python code we are looking forward to explore but before that Let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill and it says that we have to download and install the SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi and this link will help us to install the required library. Please note down all the dependencies, commands and the installation steps for the proper installation. Now this here is the command to run the code. Please note it down this also. Now get back to the code as you can see it's a python code with .py extension. In the code, we have imported SMBus and time libraries and we have divided the code in two parts. First, the gyroscopic calculation data and after that, acceleration in magnetic data. <clears throat> now, we have the gyroscopic address of the sensor that is 0x6a and in the writing section, we have to select control list of one having address 0x20 and 0x0f goes for data rate equal to 95 hertz, power on mode and x, y, z axis enable this is the writing command for that the next is to select the control list of 4 having address 0x23 and 0x30 goes for the range that is 2000 dps and continuous update mode and the writing command is here after that the reading part comes and we are reading data from 0x28 and it's the gyroscopic rotational data for the x-axis uh, and here we are the reading comes here and after that the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the data sheet for lsm 9 dsu then we have the reading and calculation of the data for the y-axis and here we have the calculation and the reading for z-axis as we are done with this part now comes to the second part where the address of the sensor for acceleration and magnetic data is 0x 1e and in the writing command we are selecting control list one having address 20 and 0x67 goes for acceleration data rate that is 100 hertz power on mode is there and x y z axis are enabled and the writing command is here then we have to select the control list 2 having address 0x21 and it 
goes for 0x20 which is the full scale range of acceleration that is plus minus 16g then this is the writing command for that after that we are selecting the control list of 5 having a trace 0x24 and 0x70 goes for the command for magnetic high resolution and output data rate equal to 50 hertz the writing command is here then we have to select the control list of 6 having a trace 0x25 and 0x60 goes for the magnetic full scale selection range that is plus minus 12 gauss and the writing command is here and the last writing command is to select the control list of 7 that is 0x26 and 0x00 goes for normal mode on magnetic continuous conversion mode the writing command is here then we have to get the data back for the acceleration and the magnetic field data and we are reading the data from 0x28 for the acceleration for x-axis for 2 bytes as you can see and the conversion of the data takes place for the acceleration then we have the reading and calculation of y-axis acceleration data and here we have the z-axis acceleration data then we have uh, from the address that is 0x08 we are reading 2 bytes of x-axis magnetic field data and here comes the conversion of the magnetic field data for x-axis similarly the magnetic field data for y-axis is here and for the z-axis this is here please note down the relevant information note correctly now at the very end of our code what do we require is to show the output on the screen and we have x, y and z-axis of rotation along with acceleration in x, y and z-axis and at last we have the magnetic field in x, y and z which are the perpendicular axis so we are done with this part now what do we require is to show the output the working and the practicality of this code along with the sensor so let's have a look over that also now for the working environment the first step is to copy this entire code of the python as you can see on my screen and here we go that's correct and here we have to open up the terminal for the raspberry pi and here we have to create a new file lsm 9 ds 0 for the reference.py is the extension for the pi and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save the entire code as you can see this is the command for the running of the code and here we go we have the data for the rotation in x y and z axis along with the acceleration and magnetic field data for the three perpendicular axis x y and z when i run the command again we have the data and it's almost constant because there is no interference regarding the motion or the magnetic field or change in magnetic field but when i try to rotate the sensor you can see the changes for the acceleration in x y z axis rotational x y z axis and some changes in magnetic field for all the three axes yeah that's correct as you can see now when i bring a bar magnet near the sensor you can see the changes for the magnetic field data for the three perpendicular axis and the changes are reflected on the screen so this is how the sensor responds for a python code along with the raspberry pi and now what do we require is to have a look over that benefits and the applications of the sensor lsm 9 ds 0 let's have it the lsm 9 ds 0 is a system in package featuring a 3d digital linear acceleration sensor a 3d digital angular rate sensor and a 3d digital magnetic sensor the lsm 9 ds 0 has a linear acceleration full scale of plus minus 16 g till plus minus 16 g a magnetic full scale range till plus minus 12 gauss and an angular rate of plus minus 2000 degrees per second the lsm 9 ds 0 include an i2c serial bus interface supporting standard and fast mode and an spi a serial standard interface due to these features the sensor lsm 9 ds 0 is, is useful in applications like indoor navigation smart user interfaces gaming and virtual reality input devices and display map orientation as you can see this sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase the sensor from here you can also have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end I would make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page. For articles and blogs which are relevant to this video and the sensor you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can have a look over and subscribe 
our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot.